Those who are interested in the topic will probably identify this image. It's from Strange Parts video reviewing the X Base, which is a wireless power station for action figures to power out wireless LEDs. In this video, I will explain you how did I manage to copy the LED using a Chinese induction base and some components. I want to explain how to build the base since I think it's easier just to buy it. But making your own LEDs is worth the effort since you can choose exactly the color you want. The working mechanic is quite simple, and it is explained in the before mentioned video. It's basically a wireless charger, so we have an alternating magnetic field, and the coils in the LEDs will generate the voltage they need to work. However, it's not just an antenna and an LED, since we also have capacitors, creating an LC circuit. Here in the Wikipedia we can see all the info we may need, but there's a special detail. The purpose of an LC circuit is usually oscillate. This is very important since the circuit will be dependent on the frequency, our most important value. Here you have the tools I used to create the LEDs. We use the power supply to power up the induction circuit. I will use my variable power supply just for convenience, but the circuit works with DC 24 volts. Of course we need the induction base, with a cost of around 15 euros on AliExpress. Some inductors, some capacitors, some LEDs of our favorite color, an oscilloscope, in my case, a cheap DSO138 DIY kit I made some years ago, our own soldering kit, which for me is a power bank, some soldering paste, the soldering iron itself, a cheap 5 volts one, and some good quality tin. This is some local 6040 lead based tin. Here I do not recommend to go cheap. Tweezers, it helps if you have some kind of magnifying glass, and finally, some holder. I use a metal pan with some small neodymium magnet to hold the inductor. We must create a small LC circuit tuned to the magnetic field frequency created by the induction base. In order to do so, we must first know what frequency we are dealing with. To do so, I just have to power up the induction base and use my oscilloscope as you see in the screen to get some readings. If we hold the image, we can read 180 kHz on the top left corner. This will be our frequency. Next, we go to this website you see and fill some data. If we specify 220 microhenries and 180 kHz, it says that the LC circuit must have 3.55 nanofarads. There is no such capacitor, so we must get closer. If we use two 1.8 nanofarads in parallel, we'll get a total of 3.6 nanofarads. That's close enough for me. If we use higher inductance, then I think we'll get better reach. And this can be made by using 680 microhenries and two capacitors. One must be 1 nanofarad and the other 150 picofarads to get a total of 1.15 nanofarad, as you can see in the calculator is giving us. However, the inductors must have two sizes. The CD43 inductor and the small CD32, but there's no 680 microhenries CD32 inductor, so we must use a 220 microhenries for this size. 